Hey y'all, a couple of things I wanted to share with y'all because I watched the other video and I don't know if anybody's even come this far, but um, I did want to say that I'm not, I'm not going to care about the presses because I just want to show y'all how responsive this, um, this is. And even though in the other one, it just looked like every time I pressed it, Every time I pressed it, I had to like press over and over and over, but really that's not the case because every button that you press, it just works. It's just that with that stylus, it was requiring multiple presses. Also wanted to say, like I said, you can use the camera button, I mean the volume button as a shutter button, which is kind of cool. A pretty decent camera, it's eight megapixels. Also wanted to uh, tell y'all the quadrant score on this when I ran it was 5,052 which is pretty cool. Uh, phone is blazing fast. It has never stuttered. The only time it ever even hesitates is for some reason when you go to your apps and you want to change it like from, I think you do that sprocket. No. You, menu. Yeah, you can show less icons or more and then it'll do loading. But that's the only time that I've ever had the phone say loading as opposed to HTC. Every time you hit anything, it's always loading, loading. It's such a drag. But yeah, so this phone, um, very fast. And a couple of people have asked me, how come you didn't just get the SGS3? To be honest with you, the whole reason that I did like the Note over the SGS2 was... I didn't like the edges on the SGS3, that pebble, I just, I never got that. This is really nice and it's a little too square. If it were a little less square, it might be cool. But actually it's the, I'm hoping that the Optimus G Pro has the waterfall edges, not round because square is LG's trademark and I really like square, but it's kind of flat here. Whereas if you had the that waterfall effect like on the HTC butterfly that'd be nice and I really am looking forward to the uh, Optimus G Pro because the Optimus G has um, it's only 4.7 and I couldn't see spending almost $700 for the same size screen I like the way that on the 5 inch phones they've kind of made them taller and still able to fit in hand comfortably unlike the Note 2 uh, which is five and a half inches and just that extra half inch. I don't know, 5.9. I mean, 5.0 might be too big, but I went to Verizon and I was holding the HTC Butterfly and it felt really good in the hand. Not as good as this. I mean, this is like, I'm at one with this phone. But anyway, just wanted to share those couple of things. And also I took it out of the case, which it's a really nice case. I have to say it's plastic but it feels, it's got texture, and just the way they bevel the edges, it's a really nice case. I never put cases on my phone, but this one, I it was just so thin that I was like, I could probably get away with a case if it's nice, and this one, a really nice case. It came with a screen protector. You cannot even see the protector. I mean, it's a nice one, and the whole thing was $8, but I did want to just show y'all how pretty the phone is with all its silver accents and very well made device and what I love about this really what sold me on this versus the Optimus G was drum roll please comes off SD card battery removable a perfect phone for in between until we see what the next wave of phones brings us so that's it thanks for watching y'all